it depends on how old you are and what your medical problems are. But what I did do, because I, I kept telling everyone there's no magic solution for everyone. Everyone's different. Um, and no one would accept that answer. So I came up with my, my ideal list, which I call the panacea. Um, and this, of course, is in book one. And I've got a few additives now to this. But at, at baseline, anyone over 40 should be on the panacea. And this is it's easy to remember because I'm really good with mnemonics. So the P, panacea, stands for pterostilbene, which is the cousin of resveratrol. They're both sirtuin activators. And they do a variety of other things as well. Um, but this is step one. You got to turn your sirtuins back on. Um, there was one paper that suggested that pterostilbene was not as good as if you had increased uh, cholesterol. So it's it was one, one paper. I don't know if it's true or not. Anyway, choice is generally resveratrol or pterostilbene. Um, we need to make sure that we get one that's bioavailable because otherwise the resveratrol bioavailability is very low. Um, but they are making it in like new packaging, nanomycelles, et cetera, that does make it significantly better. But that's agent one. So everyone needs to be on one of the two of those. Um, EA, panacea, A is for astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is the most amazing free radical scavenger that we have. It comes from algae that are angry. They're pissed off by their environment. They create this orange goo that makes the, allows that cell to survive under stressful conditions. And it honestly does the same thing for us. Um, Anyone can take any, I guess usually it's anywhere between uh, four to 12 milligrams. There's no harm in taking any more of that, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, unfortunately, it does make things pink. Um, anything pink in the marine system is probably because of astaxanthin. So roseate spoonbills or feathers are pink because of, uh, of this stuff. Quail eggs or quail eyes are red because of this. Uh, salmon is red because of astaxanthin. So I think the only fear of taking too much astaxanthin is turning colors. But if you're okay with that, then sky's the limit. Um, so PAN and nicotinamide is the next one. Most people under 40 are nicotinamide deficient. Um, within the last year or so, they came out with a home kit. So for the low price of 300 bucks, you can find out what your nicotinamide level is. Um, I would assume that anyone over 40 is going to be statistically low. It's just a matter of how deficient you are. Um, the, the world knows for the most part or longevity people know that everyone's deficient. So there's a war on to get you to take their type. So there's nicotinamide riboside, there's nicotinamide mononucleotide. Those are the two orals. Um, and then you can get uh, nasal sprays, trans, transdermal patches, you can get injections, you can get your IV dose. It probably doesn't make a whole lot of difference how you get your nicotinamide as long as you get your nicotinamide. Um, so that's let's uh, PAN. And then there's two Cs. There's carnosine. Carnosine is a natural dipeptide that we all have in our bodies. So this is actually uh, a supplement uh, and not an adjuvant because we're supplementing our own uh, internal source. Men have more than women and young people have more than old people. So by the time you're an older lady, you are carnosine deficient. Uh, vegetarians are gonna be carn carnosine deficient because it comes from uh, uh, mostly uh, meat products, especially like turkey and chicken and that sort of stuff. Um, but what it does is it's a transglycosylating agent. So it is, reduces the damage done by glucose in your cells. So glycation is, is one of this major problems, depending on if you're diabetic or not a pre-diabetic, but we all love glucose. But by reducing the damage done and reducing the AGE load, um, that's only beneficial. So the top five has to include some sort of transglycosylating agent. And then lastly in this pile is carnosine, no, I'm sorry, uh, curcumin. Curcumin is one of the best anti-inflammatory agents we have. And again, it does other things as well, but um, it's super amazing in terms of uh, reducing uh, your inflammasome. And the problem, of course, is that the bioavailability is limited. So there's been a war raging for the last decade, probably to make it more bioavailable. So if anyone is interested in buying it, you need to write, read the label and it'll say high bioavailability. Um, I'm not out to push any brands. I could really care less. Uh, but if it's going to help you, you can't take the regular stuff. It has to be high bioavailability. Um, so that's top five of the standard panacea. 